Dear students, in this video, I'll be discussing about how to realize synchronous up counter using Densim. So, in the previous class, we have discussed how to design a mod 8 counter. When we want to design a mod 8 counter, we require three flip flops. The flip flops which we are using is QC, QB, Q, sorry, A, B, C. So, these are the outputs of those flip flops. These are the next states of the flip flops, and we have computed the inputs for those flip flops and also we have done this expressions and we have realized here so using this circuit now we'll uh, realize on the dead sim and we know what are all the default things which we need to do it in this circuit all the preset and clear of the jk flip flops has to be connected to vcc in order to make that inactive and the vcc and ground of the ic's has to be connected so we are using 7476 two ICs. So, we will just add those two ICs here and then we will start the connections. So, click on this add IC, click here, add 7476. So, 7476 is a dual master slave JK flip flop with clear set and complementary output so we have the features of all this i don't know why it happened just click on this add it yes so now do the preset clear connections of the ic so your pin number two seven and two are the preset three eight three are the clear so we'll connect all these to pcc two seven two 383 okay 2 7 and 2 of this 3 8 and 3 of this connected to VCC Next, VCC and ground of this IC. So, VCC is in the pin number 5, 10 is the ground. So, we can just look into that as well. So, these are the pin, this is the pin diagram of 7476. VCC is 5, ground is 13. So, 5 of both ICs can give to VCC, 13 of both ICs we can connect it to ground. Five of this connect to VCC. Thirteen of this. So it is sixteen pin IC. Eighteen, eight here. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen of this connected to ground. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen connect to ground. So, we have done all the basic connections of the IC. Now, we need to look into the inputs and outputs. Okay. Uh, we can also uh, connect this clock as well. So, we will connect clock first. Pin number 1, 6 should go to clock. 1, 6. Then, okay, all these are done. So, now we connect inputs. J, A, K, A. It is VCC. So, according to our circuit design, J, A and K, A is 1. So, we have connected to VCC. Connect that to VCC. So, J, A pin number 4. K, A it is pin number 16. If you have any doubts, you can just look into the pin diagram of the things so j1 is pin number 14 k1 is pin number 16 these are the jk inputs of the first flip flop jk input of the second flip flop for this j2 and k2 9 and 12 so this 4 and 4 and 16 you connect to vcc pin number 4 to vcc 
pin number 16 it's a 16 pin i see this 20 will become pin number 16 so vcc next j b and k b connected from q a q a is pin number 15 15 to 9 15 to 12 pin number 15 to 9 so this will be our 9 because it is an a s 16 pin i see 8 9 15 to 9 15 to 12 9 10 11 12 15 it's been done once you have done this connection so this inputs also done now we have to do this inputs in order to provide the input for this we need an and gate so use this and gate provide the input from pin number 15 to this and then pin number 11 of the ic to this and gate okay so i'll connect the ic click here add ic add 7408 then do the basic connection of this 7 to ground 14 to vcc then provide the inputs as per the design circuit so now 15 to pin number 1 of and 11 to pin number 2 of and so 15 this is the 15 to pin number 1 of and then 11 8 9 10 Sorry, 9, 10, 11, 11 to pin number 2 of AND gate. Pin number 3 of AND gate is the output that has to be connected to 3 to pin number 4 and 16 of the next IC. So, 3 to pin number 4 and 16 of the next IC. Yes. So this connections are done. Now this inputs also done. So if you look into this, all preset clears are done. VCC ground is done. Clock is done. Inputs of JA, JB, KA, KB, all these are done. We have to extract the outputs. So if you look into other truth table, QC is the most significant bit. So I'll connect the first one is QC, QB, QE. So where is QC? QC can be extracted across the second ic of 7476 pin number 15 so pin number 15 of first ic is the least significant bit pin number 11 of the first ic is the middle bit okay 15 11 15 so 15 is the most significant bit 15 11 so 9 10 11 then 15 so it's been done. Now we can start the circuit. I switch on the strainer kit. So start providing the clock. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0. It will keep counting from 0 to 7 and then reset back to 0. Now we will do the changes within this circuit for the different modes and we will look into that. First we need to switch off the trainer kit. So we will just open the circuit. This is for mod 8 which we have done. So we just look into mod 6. Mod 6 already the computations has been done. We will just do the necessary changes in this. The JA and KA is VCC so need not to do the changes in the first flip flop. Second flip flop inputs has been changed now. Just do the changes according to that for the second flip flop. So KB it's a QA. So retain the KB. Only do changes in JB. Then KC it is QA QB. So you can retain case JC. KC it is QA. So changes only with respect to these two. So, you can just look into these expressions as well. Okay. So, now this KC it is QA. JB it is QA QC bar. Do that changes. So, now we yeah, are fine. This KC it is pin number 16. Uh, has to be connected to 15 of the first IC. 
pin number 16 of the second IC. So just click on this pin number 16 input. Then okay, remove connection, then click on the I think something else has been removed now. So this output has been removed. Be careful when you are removing the content. Click on remove connection. Yeah, pin number 16 we have removed. Pin number 16 has to be connected from pin number 15 of the first AC. So we need to connect from pin number 15 to 16. It's been done now. Now these connections are done. Only thing we need to do this. JB it's pin number 9. So this is 8, this is 9. So we need to remove this connection. Once we remove that, what is the connection which we need to do it? This inputs are like QA, QC bar. So QA has to be extracted and give it to an AND gate. QC bar now. QC bar, it is pin number 14 of the second IC. QA is the pin number, sorry, 15 of the first IC. Pin number 15 of first IC, pin number 14 of second IC should go to AND gate. 15 of first IC connected to pin number 4. 14 of second IC means this is the one, right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of the second IC. 6 will be the output connected to the, what's that pin number? 9. So 6 to 9. So it's been done with mod 6, which on the trainer kit, observe with the output. So it started with 1. So when I provide the clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it has to reset. It is for mod 6. So you can just check out again if you want to look into the things. 4, 5, and 6, so 0. Now we do the necessary changes for mod 7 modified and you can work in the similar way with this i'll end up this video thank you